Hey guys, Indigo Aurora here. Today, recording me beating Pokemon Leaf Green. With the squad here, you got Dante, Dragonair, Venusaur, Hitmonchan, Sea Monkeys. Oh, and what's that underneath? Oh yeah, and Dragon uh, Dragonair is evolving. That's Mewtwo! Do, 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 I'm completing the... Pokédex Dragonair is evolving. This is gonna be great. Finally. About time you evolved. I've done it. I have completed the Pokédex. Well, look at the Pokédex. Ignore the National. No one cares about the National. As you can see, I have caught all 150 Pokémon. Of the Kanto region. And don't even think about telling me that it's 151. Mew doesn't count because you need to go into friggin' Emerald to just get it. You can't do it in friggin' Fire Red, which is how you should catch Mew, and it shouldn't even be a friggin' event, so there are 150 official Pokemon in the Kanto region. Ignore Mew. Okay? I did it. I'll go, to, I'll go back when I when I see Oak, uh, for, uh, for now, uh, blah blah blah, and to go, uh, screw it. But before I forget, let's see what category Mewtwo covers. I think it's, uh, rare. So we got Unknown, but... Unknown, the symbol Pokemon. This, their shape look like hieroglyphs on ancient tablets. It is said that the two are somehow related. Yeah, but it's pretty much irrelevant. Then we got the legendary birds. Let me change the filter for one second, guys, so you can see that. Articuno, Zapdos, and Moltres. Pokemon 144. Articuno, the freeze Pokemon. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear to doom people who are lost in icy mountains. Like what? The friggin' Seafoam Islands? There are no icy mountains in the Kanto region. Zapdos, the electric Pokemon. A legendary bird Pokemon that is said to appear from clouds while dropping enormous lightning bolts. Found in the power plant, found in Seafoam Islands, and found in Mount Ember, which isn't even in the Kanto region officially! Moltres, the flame Pokemon. It is said to be the legendary bird Pokemon of fire. Every flap of its wings creates a dazzling flare of flames. Oh, and a, uh, spoiler warning, guys? Blaine is lost in the mountains, about to have his soul stolen by a Gengar. I'll go to its Pokedex entry later. But it said that a fiery bird Pokemon guided him down to the mountains, uh, down the mountains with its blazing embers. And that was Moltres. Oh yeah, and last but not least, Mewtwo. Mewtwo, the genetic Pokemon. It was created by a scientist after years of horrific gene splicing and DNA engineering experiments. So basically, they find Mew, clone it, and this is what we get. We're not going to talk about Mew, though, because Mew can't be found by a freaking event, and I already went to that topic, and I am not going through that damn topic again. I will see you next when I visit Professor Oak, after we get the heck out of this cave. Hold on one second. Let's see here in the old bag. Later! And here we are. This was part of the uh, squad earlier, guys, in case you couldn't see. Now, Dragonite doesn't know fly, but I'm gonna fix that in a minute. And here is Mewtwo at the bottom. Hold on. Yeah, that's bad nature, but... It's that's pretty much like ignore that. And this is the moveset it has. So we're just gonna have Dragonite use fly after healing the squad. And now we fly to Pallet Town to see what Oak has to say about our accomplishment. Here we go. And here we are. Hey Oak, what is up. Good to see you. How is your Pokédex coming along? 
Here, let me take a look. The amount of progress you made on your Pokédex is... 150 Pokémon seen, and 150 Pokémon owned! Proof Oaks reading. Your Pokédex is entirely complete! Congratulations! And your National Pokédex, which is pretty much crap at this point, 210 Pokémon seen and 181 owned. I'll be looking forward to see you complete the National. Yeah, fuck the National.